Today I'm providing you guys with some commentary. We have Isaev in the red corner and Stoika in the blue corner. I heard this was an explosive kickboxing fight, so I went, okay, we might as well cover it. It's one I haven't seen. I believe Stoika used to fight in glory. The name sounds very familiar. There were two brothers who were competing around the same time as me. Both very good fighters, but Isaev there with some big left hook or some big hooks. And really at this weight class, at any moment, big things can happen. You gotta be looking for tiny errors. Isaev there goes for a takedown not allowed under one kickboxing rules, which I think is a shame. I'm a big fan of throws to the ground, trips, sweeps, all of that. I think it brings a additional element as opposed to just banging back and forward with punches and kicks. Isaev, you can tell right away from the start of the fight, his hooks are very, very strong. And if you were to be fighting him, you want to be on point in that defense. There's one after the other on those on those hooks. He switches levels very nicely. Stoika is just a little bit behind right now on leading the dance. He's waiting a little bit too long. He's not countering. You can see in that Dutch guard there, he's holding it strong. Nothing's really breaking through, but he's having trouble getting his counters going because he's so stiff, he's so rigid. When you don't employ arm movement in your defense, you got to just squeeze so tight so people can't break through that guard. And I believe it makes counters that much more difficult. Good variety from both fighters though. We've seen spinning kicks, flying knees, all the basics. They've both been throwing some lovely body left round kicks. Just needs a little bit more volume from Stoika. I mean, he gave, gave away the first round essentially just based on the fact that he didn't throw as much. Wasn't a massive damage differential, just very simply output. It was the favor of the fighter from the red corner. Just look at volume, volume, volume. It's too bad Isaev can't catch those body round kicks because you can see he's ready for them. He sees them coming. He just has to pull those catches. A shame. Axe kicks. I stopped throwing those years ago. I think the effort to potential damage ratio is just not good enough. My brother years ago landed on a couple of opponents, big hard cracks to the top of the head, heel right on the, the dome and it just didn't affect people. There's a few guys like Andy Hoog, yes, who made it work, but you just can't really be bothered anymore. Toika's just... I'll put a little bit more into his shots. He looks fairly relaxed when he throws, which is a very good thing, but it just looks like some of his shots lack a little bit of a little bit of speed on the re-chamber. And he just looks a little bit too relaxed. It's a good fight though. It's, it's not a barn burner. It's not one where you're sitting here on the edge of your seat going, oh my gosh, but they are <laughs> they're, they're doing a good job. Oh, spinning elbow. Definitely not allowed. I don't even know if you're allowed to do spinning back fists in uh in 1FC. I'm actually not sure about that. He controlled it nicely though. I like how 
Oh, look at uh, There's some good action. Couldn't tell there if Stoika did some damage. They both look just a little, a little wobbled. Good, good pressure. Oh, there's a... That's a nice one. Good job from Stoika there. He gets a little clap from his opponent. And the problem with the three round fights is you got to go in the second and third. And that's exactly what Stoika just started doing. Just throwing back. Look at him. Right in there. See if, if he can get this done. All right, he has the edge now. First round, red corner. Second round, 10-8 to the blue corner for the knockdown. So now Stoika basically has to make sure he wins this round. If he lost 10-9, it would be a draw. And they'd probably fight the extra round, I suppose. Good pressure coming back. He knows he's got to get the get the round here. Once Stoika opened up, he was dangerous. It just, as I said in the first, just not leading and a little too complacent. But when he started throwing and throwing hard, he was like, man, he's good. Let's see if he's going to shell up in there for too much, too long, or get back in this this round. Because right now he's definitely behind. Ooh, something happened to his leg there. He came down weird on that. Getting dummied around now. His legs look really odd under him. But left leg in particular. Not fighting back well. It was almost like when he came out of the scissor knee. His left leg was straight when he landed. It almost looked like he potentially hyperextended the knee or something. So now Stoika is behind by a point. He has to basically come back and get a knockdown. Body cross. It's a good fight. Like I said, not the best I've ever seen, but definitely worth the watch. The left hook to the round kick is working very well. So a scissor round kick right there. Ref is ready to ready to jump in there at any moment. It's because Stoika is not really throwing anything back. He's just being a punching bag at this point. It's weird how he went from doing so little to a lot to so little at the end. Definitely some sort of injury played in there. Your winner by unanimous decision from the red corner.